The patient is in supine position. The arm is abducted to the end of its available range. External rotation of the humerus should be added to the end of the range position as the arm approaches and goes beyond the 90 degrees. Locate the chromium process. It is the most prominent bone lateral to the shoulder. Put your web space just distal to it. You are now on the head of the humerus. With the hand on the proximal humerus, glide the humerus in an inferior direction. The other hand holding the patient's arm against your trunk to provide grade 1 distraction. This is the same technique from the therapist view. You can apply the same technique with the patient in sitting position. The shoulder is abducted to its available range which is 90 degrees. Apply grade 1 distraction. Locate the chromium process to the most prominent bone lateral to the shoulder. Put your web space just distal to it. You are now on the head of the humerus. With the hand of the proximal humerus, glide the humerus in an inferior direction. This is what you should see when you are applying the technique.